was he was the the one you want to be when it's all over with. And that man was the lost his life uh, to his injuries suffered from that crash. Bureau Chief Tracy Wilkins has new details tonight on what happened inside that restaurant when that car came through. This is what the wall looks like now. This is the wall that that car came crashing through. And as you can see, they've done some repairs, but this building is still not suitable for folks to be inside at this point. While repairs have been made to the building, for many of the people who were inside, they will never be repaired. A car plunges into the side of Babe's Boys Tavern on the top of the hill without warning. And now a week later, one of the injured, Isaiah Pugh, has died. We all thought he was going to survive. Judge Philip Nichols was enjoying a business lunch about the Boy Scouts with longtime friend Isaiah Pugh when the car stopped just inches from their table. I was about 18 inches away from the car. Isaiah fell on me. We both fell on the floor. Um, the chairs went down. The, um, there was a table on top of us, which the police officers there had to take off us. I couldn't get Isaiah off of me because he was unconscious at that point. Pew was the commissioner for the Patuxent District of the Boy Scouts of America, helping to guide some 3,000 troops and 1,200 adult leaders in Prince George's County and Charles County. Held every leadership position uh, that we have, got our highest awards, and was, was dedicated to the cause. He understood what learning for life was all about and he lived it. The driver of the car told me the day of the accident that her brakes wouldn't work. The cause is still under investigation. It's just a tragedy on top of a tragedy for all of us, for his family. Our, you know, our hearts and prayers go to his family. Our thoughts are with them. If you are interested in making a donation in Mr. Pugh's honor, Memorial Fund has been set up by the Boy Scouts. You can go to NBC Washington and search Memorial Fund. In Upper Marlboro, I'm Tracy Wilkins, News 4. Well, if you're counting along with us, we are now 100 days out, folks, from the start of the Winter Olympic Games in Pyeongchang. And the torch relay is now underway in South Korea. Check it out. Many of the venues that will host some of the big events are also ready for the thousands of athletes from here and all over the world. The host city is on the eastern coast, about 80 miles from Seoul. And for spectators, there is more than just sports. News 4's very own An Yang takes us to a temple site that captures the essence of South Korea. In the Ode Mountains of Pyeongchang, South Korea, a thousand-year-old fir tree forests and tranquil waters of the mountain streams provide the setting for one of the country's most beautiful sites, the Woljongsa Temple. Woljongsa was founded in the 600s by a monk. As the story goes, he received a poem from the Buddha, which led him to Mount Ode. There, a dragon appeared and told the monk to build a temple dedicated to those studying wisdom. The temple was destroyed during the Korean War in the early 1950s. It was entirely rebuilt, and now Woljongsa is a complex spanning five miles with 60 different Buddhist temples, 22 pagodas, and many trails to enjoy the beauty of the mountains. This is the Yunjeongdae, which is the centerpiece of this particular pagoda in Pyeongchang. The monks say if you turn it, it's the same as reading a Buddhist scripture, which is contained inside this structure. Every pagoda and every temple is a work of art and a view into Korea's history and culture. At the main temple, a monk sits in constant meditation chanting, ringing bells, and drumming. These are all Buddhist methods to bring mindfulness and healing. Visitors from all walks of life come to pay their respects. It is customary to bow when you enter the temple as a symbol of surrender to oneself and to wish good for all others. Some people light candles or bring offerings for a special prayer or specific person. Woljongsa is also home to an octagonal nine-story stone pagoda. It is considered a national treasure in Korea. It was built in the 10th century, and the design was very unique for that time period. For those who want a deeper understanding of Buddhism, Woljongsa offers a temple stay. This immersive program is unique to Korea and offers a taste of the simplicity and solitude of a monk's life. Visitors can stay on site overnight to learn more about Korean culture. Some go just to escape the buzz of the city, others to rejuvenate their spirits and